So I, I rise for the final contribution on the bill, and um, I pick up on the on the comments by Materia Ture. Um, it is unfortunate that it appears that the government has taken an opportunity to um, to actually step on the workers of New Zealand, and. Uh, New Zealand First is very disappointed that the supplementary order paper that the Green Party put up that would have split off um, and therefore stopped the 3.5 per cent increase for MPs would have stopped here tonight, but that would have sent the, um, the criteria, the conversation about the remuneration authorities, um, the, the set of criteria by which they set members of parliament pay, that would have sent that through a much longer process, which would have sent that back into another bill that would have gone through select committee process that the New Zealand public would have had the opportunity to, um, to speak about. And that would have, if the purpose here today is to say to the New Zealand public that we, the members of parliament, understand that times are tough and they're tougher for some than they are for others. Um, if the purpose of this moment in time is to say we, we understand that, that could have been done by a single piece of legislation that says we will not accept that. It was not a requirement for actually us to come up with another um, formula here tonight. And I, I, New Zealand First agrees with the Labour Party. We are concerned about the formula. The fact that, you know, it's version 7 by the time we got to 10.30 today, um, with people manipulating algebra here, there and everywhere, gives nobody any confidence that this is right. Not a single one of us, and actually not a single backbencher, understands that equation. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. You may not be sitting in the backbench tonight, Mr Foster Bell, but I'll guarantee that the ones who are do not understand that equation. But that's not the point. And it's really unfortunate that the conversation ended up going um, down to comments like union thugs. It's very, very unfortunate. That, that was not the purpose that we were all here tonight. It was unnecessary. And um, this was supposed to be about us making sure that the New Zealand public, and Mr Bailey keeps saying it, that the New Zealand public saw leadership from us. And it's very unfortunate that it would appear through the statements made by the Minister and through other members that this is actually not about us. This is about controlling New Zealanders as they enter into what are supposed to be negotiations. And that it's a great shame that that's where this Parliament has come to, that we're prepared to legislate now to stop free and frank and honest negotiations between workers and ourselves. And that is a, it's an indictment upon this parliament. The other thing that we do need to be careful of, and New Zealand First again agrees with the contribution by Mr Hipkins, it's been particularly um, enlightening Mr Hipkins' contribution, it's been very worthwhile listening to. Um, and that is actually that, and it was around the words corruption, <laughs> corruption, I know it's hard sometimes, Mr Speaker, but sometimes the truth has to be said. And in this moment, in this moment with this contribution, Mr Hipkins has been enlightening. Um, and it's around the word, it's around the word corruption. And it's a quite a serious thing, to be frank. It's around the word corruption. There was a time in this parliament where the only people who could come to it were rich, white men who had independent means. They were the only people who could come here. The only reason we have the diversity we have today is that we have a system that supports a variety of representation. And we must make sure that we, the parliament, don't turn this thing so far back that we end up with rich white men as representatives for us all, because we know how badly that works. So New Zealand First is disappointed. We will support this bill. We will support it because we must stop. We must stop the 3.5 per cent pay rise for ourselves when we cannot share it across our nation with our other people. That is true. But we also would reiterate again that we would have preferred 
the criteria to be set with the public, not by us on the public, because at the end of the day they pay us and they should have had a voice inside that algebraic equation. Kia ora.